Hello everyone, Dusty Flugger here, and today I'm going to be showing you the best way to play Windows games on your Mac for free. So basically what you're going to want to do is open a browser and search for Whiskey Mac OS. This does only work on Silicon Macs, but it's a lot easier to run Windows games on Intel Macs, because you can just use Boot Camp or another tool like that. So you're going to want to press release. You're going to want to scroll down to whiskey.zip. I am on a base M1 MacBook Air, so the lowest spec silicon. So if this is running for me, it should run for everyone. And now you can copy Whiskey app to applications. We're not done in the browser though, we're going to open up Steam. You're going to want to press the Windows button. Make sure you don't press the Mac, otherwise install the Mac app. Now we can go into applications. I'd recommend putting it in your dock. Open up Whiskey. Whiskey is an app from the internet. Open iTrustist. Maybe you don't, I don't know. Right, now we're going to want to press the plus button. Let me close our OBS. And we're going to want to call it Steam. Well, you can call it whatever you want to. And you can keep the default path. I'm going to change it to my external um, drive. Now that we're done there. I just store games on my external drive. Now that we're into this, it might take a while. But you're going to want to press wait for it to be done, actually. Uh, wait for it to stop buffering. Alright, while we wait for it, we're going to want to press downloads. Copy Steam Setup and find where you stored the new bottle. For me, I put it in my external drive, but an easy way to find out is you can press Open C Drive. Now that I've done that, I can press Run. Now I'll open Steam Setup.exe. Cut the set out. Alright, just like that, look, it's like the Windows Setup, not a Mac OS Setup. It's even got the ugly Windows font. Alright, it is launching Steam now. This part can take a while, so just be patient. Alright, it has disappeared, but it should be opening back up any minute now, and it'll ask us to log in. I'm going to clear my bin real quick. I need to get into the habit of doing that. And you can, like, minimize this. Don't press X, or it will close out. And it might take a little while. There we go. Now I'm just going to quickly sign in. Sign into Steam. Sign in request approved. Boom! Just like that, I signed in with the iPad because I do not want to leak my username. I don't feel like getting friend requests. Alright, just like that, we are now into the Windows version of Steam. Close out my friends list. Don't want to post anyone. And now we are in the Steam version. It should have a few pop-ups. Now just be patient, it takes a little while. And I'm just going to try with Outer Wilds. See, I typed and it's a bit delayed, but it's fine. I'm press install local disk C. Again, that is my external drive I've plugged in here. This is an SSD. But you can do internal storage if you want. I just prefer to keep my internal storage for stuff like schoolwork and uh, video editing and stuff because I have a 256 gigabit model. And as you can see here, it is downloading the Windows version as well. And Outer Wilds is not playable on Mac other than this way. So if we wait here, I'll be back once it's installed. Alright, it's nearly done downloading, but a thing we can do in the background is we can go to bottle configuration and I like to turn on the metal HUD so that will just mean that we get a nice frame counter when we are playing games, which can be very useful. If you'd like to see if you if you are lagging or if like your monitor is lagging. Alright, as you can see it is now done downloading. It's just verifying and this won't take too long. As you can see, it only says it will take a minute. This will be extremely fast if you're using your um, internal hard drive. But again, I do have an SSD. I wouldn't recommend installing stuff to a hard drive, external hard drive. But if you have external SSD, it's still a great option. Again, the only reason I'm going down in this route is let me open up Disk Utility. As you can see here, my main hard drive, I've only got 147 gigs left, and I really need to keep that. Um, but as you can see here, I have 938 gigabytes of spare hard drive space in my SSD, which is an enclosure next to my dock. Alright, as you can see, they're downloaded complete. We're going to launch this. Press play. Go back to the library. Oh, lagging, because it's trying to launch the game. Launching. It's downloading uh, Microsoft VC Redisputable, whatever the heck that means. <laughs> but it should... Uh, see all this popping up. Wine 64 preloader. Now, this app's really cool because crossover, it is a bit, lot better. Yeah, I don't care. 
Crossover is a lot better, but of course it costs quite a lot and you don't get updates after you, I believe, if you pay, which is crazy, in my opinion. Well, it worked. As you can see, the Outer Wilds is best experience with gamepad. I don't have a controller. Actually, I do have a controller to test. Why don't I see if Bluetooth's working? Well, as you can see there, it is picking up my controller. Supports your DualSense controller. I am playing with a DualSense. Um, it's just connected via Bluetooth. But the controller's working, and that's really all that matters. Outer Wilds, as you can see, it's running perfectly. Graphics, controls, I'm just going to change it. Steam Deck, I've been playing this on my Steam Deck. PS5 button layout, we can change all of this. I'm going to turn VSync. I'm going to turn it down to the bottom again. This is the um, lowest spec thing, but I mean, we should get pretty alright performance. I'm going to turn anti aliasing up a little bit. Might be a bit nice. Right, resume. Alright, we are loading in. We'll see if this runs well. Maybe the metal hard will show up once we're actually in game. Who knows? Wake up. Wow, that frame rate. Alright, we are going to turn off anti aliasing. It's not that important. Why do we have it set to high if we don't even have it on? Uh, Alright, now, is this because it's initially loading everything? Again, because it's emulating this, it needs to load shader caches, but unlike the Steam Deck, it doesn't have native shader caches, so this is all just loading, so considering that, it's pretty impressive. Controller rumble is working, which is pretty amazing. All the buttons appear to be working just fine. As you can see here, we are playing Outer Wilds, a native Windows game that is not on Mac OS, on Mac OS, for free. Using a free app, thanks to the people that make it. Credits will be here. And with that being said, thank you for watching this. And if you enjoyed this video, please leave us a like and subscribe. Thanks.